is a radioactive decay problem, which is problem three from the midterm review for uh, FAM. Initially, we have 60 grams of a radioactive element. 14 days later, we have 20 grams. What's the half-life? Well, I know it's shorter than 14 days because it takes 14 days for uh, only a third of the dose, so it should be less time for half the dose, but it doesn't really matter. Um, to find the half-life, we're going to set up the usual model, y equals c to the kt, for exponential growth or decay. And then we're going to say, well, c is 60, because that's what we're starting with. You could also plug in, oh, I like to make this little table, and you can say t, y, if t is 0, you have 60. If t is 14, you have 20. And then we're trying to figure out what time it is when I have half of what I started with, which is 30. So I'm trying to figure out what this is. So plugging in 0 for t and 60 for y, I get 60 equal to c e to the k times 0. e to the 0 is 1, so I get c equals 60. c is always going back to starting with. Plugging in the other piece of information I know both parts for, I'm plugging in y is 20 and t is 14. So I've got y is 20 equals, I mean c is 60, and I've got e to the k times t, which is 14. And then I'm going to solve for k. So divide by 60, you get one third equals e to the 14k. Take the natural log of both sides. Divide both sides by 14. So that's the k value. And then we're trying to figure out what time it is when it's the half life. So we're going to take our c and our k, plug it into the model. So the model looks like y equals. 60e to the this number, that's why 1 third over 14 times t. And then we're going to plug in 30 for y and solve for t. So 30 equals 60e to the all this stuff, natural log of 1 third over 14e. I'm so, sorry, 14 t is not the denominator. So we like to simplify this a lot, but actually problem 4. So divide by 60, 1 half equals e to the natural log of 1 third over 14t. Take the natural log of both sides. The natural log of e to the stuff is just the stuff. And then finally, multiply both sides of 14, divide both sides of the natural log of 1 third. So you get 14 times the natural log of 1 half over the natural log of 1 third equals t. Whatever that is, that's your time. Um, if you have a calculator, you should approximate that. If you don't, just leave it. So, okay. second part of that question, how long until four grams remain? So we're kind of answering the same sort of question. We're just, um, I'm sorry, it's a blur there, apologies. We're just going to say, well, now for y equals 60 e to the mm, natural log of one third over 14 times t. Instead of saying y equal to 30, like we did find a half life, we're gonna set y equal to four. So four equals 60 e to the natural log of one third over 14 t. Um, I'll show you the other way people might solve this. So before we, so I'll divide by 60. Four over 60 is one third over 14 t. But sometimes people like to simplify this in the following way. They say this is e to the, I'm gonna write this as t over 14 times the natural log of one third. And then this coefficient of the natural log can come up as the power. So I can actually write it as e to the natural log of 1 third to the t over 14 power. And the reason you might do that is because then e to the natural log of some stuff is just the stuff. So I can say this is 1 15th equal to 1 third to the t over 14. We still have to solve for t, so this might not be super helpful, but it, well, yeah. So solving for t, the, the thing is solving for t, I would want to take the natural log of both sides, which would kind of get me back to having this anyway. Um, but if you didn't want to do that, you could take the log base one third of both sides, which is kind of how we do the problem. So I could say log base one third of one fifteenth equals t over 14. And then multiply both sides of four right here. So you, you're changing this exponential into it a logarithmic, the base is one third, one third, the power is equal to 14, so you say log base, log base this, of this equals the power. 
And then we can tell for t, say t equals four t times log base one third of one fifteen. Kind of a funky way of doing it. Um, if instead we just kind of done it from here, or from here really, and, and taken the log of sign the natural log of one fifteen equals the natural log of this is just the stuff on top. You have four to the power of natural log of one third, and then you would get times by fourteen divided by natural log of one third. Neither one of these is correct. Um, they're really the same. It's just a change of base formula. It's like fourteen times log base one third of one fifteenth, or fourteen times natural log of one fifteenth over natural log of one third. Same thing.